All right, we have our second uh, presenter for this afternoon is uh, Dr. Liu, uh, who is going to be talking to us about uh, full thickness resection with mucosal preservation, uh, something we had alluded to earlier this morning, but I believe you will enlighten us, correct? Uh, <clears throat> good morning, uh, everyone. So I'd like to... Uh, this one. Okay. 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 Thank you. I like thank Stavros for uh, inviting me uh, to the Congress. So I'm sorry that uh, the originally planned uh, speaker, Professor New, cannot present this uh, Congress because of. Yeah, I'm in Dr. Uh, yeah, I'm his calling Dr. Gong. So. Uh, Today, my topic was an endoscopy mucosa sparing uh, natural dissection, uh, mucosa preservation to fasten the uh, arterial resection and the closure. So as we know, uh, gastrous yeast are, uh, have a malignant potential in their biological behavior. Many depends on the tumor size and the methodical rate. And all yeast more than two centimeters should be uh, resected. However, the uh, management of a small gastric yeast, uh, less than two centimeters, remains controversial. And according to the uh, existing guideline, uh, the small yeast still, there are still some, uh, metas no more than 4% uh, metastasis. Uh, and uh, <coughs> tumor related maternity. So uh, the incision guidelines recommend US FNA or uh, abdominal or pelvic CT scan with contrast if there is high risk uh, US features and the complete surgical resection was completed, also, also recommended. But if there's no high risk uh, US features, so consider periodic endoscopy uh, surveillance. So uh, there's some controversies whether US surveillance uh, for small tumors is useful, remains unclear. And also in China, the compliance of patients is very uh, poor. So many, many patients want to reset these uh, tumors if you told them that there is a tumor in your guest. So uh, according to NCC guideline, uh, surgery is the uh, first choice for all of the, uh, for the uh, guest uh, gist. But uh, recent years, uh, several studies, uh, many in East Asia countries, uh, using uh, endoscopy treatment for the yeast. For example, uh, ESD, uh, EFTR, and also uh, STIR. And uh, a study from Korea in 2016 showed that NSP resection might be an alternative therapeutic modernity, uh, modernity for yeast in some selective uh, cases. However, uh, from this table, we can see that uh, uh, compared to surgery group, the endoscopic group uh, of the uh, some of the yeast is much more smaller than a uh, surgery group, and also the R0 uh, uh, resection rate is uh, pretty lower, and uh, most are R1 on the R0 res uh, R1 resection. And also the uh, risk group, many are, are very low or no group. However, the recurrence rate are nearly the same. So uh, our zero resection rate was relatively low during the endoscopy resection of gastric yeast uh, from current report. And R1 resection may be enough for some more and no risk gastric yeast, however, uh, regular endoscopy surveillance after the operation was needed. So indications of endoscopy, endoscopy resection for gastro yeast should be uh, strictly followed. So uh, in the letter to the editor to endoscopy, we pr propose that uh, uh, endoscopy resection for uh, gastro yeast needs the concept of the surgical resection that we should fully expose tumors along their margins without damaging their surface. So uh, all, uh, all of the, so now so far the uh, endoscopy resection uh, options including ESD, STIR, and uh, EFR. 
uh, as we think that stir is um, uh, easier to perform and also have a good operating uh, field. And uh, uh, but it's safe, but limited to the location. As you know, the, most of the yeast look, is, are located in the gastric funders. It's uh, very hard to perform stir in this area. So we modified this uh, procedure using uh, mucosa sparing network dissection for the uh, small yeast in the gastric funders. So uh, this is scheme of these uh, uh, steps of this procedure. So first we, we uh, do a semi-circle marking and then uh, injection and then uh, do a semi-circle maybe or one-third incision and then uh, dissect along the submucosa nail. So after the, all the uh, mucosa nail was dissected, so we, uh, then we started to dissect the tumor using the same uh, technique as the EFTR. Then after the tumor was removed, there would be a uh, perforation. We can uh, pull the uh, mucosa uh, and then use the clip to uh, close the perforation. So this, uh, can, this kind of uh, procedure we think have this, uh, some advantage. First, the method is not limited by the location of the tumor and also complete exposure of the tumor and uh, a good operating field. I close the wound safely with the retained mucosa even if the perforation occurred. And I think this because of this a good operating field, so we can we think this uh, procedure may contribute to the R0 resection. So this is the uh, key procedures of the uh, method. First, uh, we do a uh, semicircle incision then dissect uh, uh, and on the submucosa layer and uh, totally expose uh, the uh, tumor. Then after the tumor was uh, dissected, there was a uh, perforation and uh, we pulled the mucosa back and uh, used clip to close the perforation. So this is a preliminary uh, experience uh, of our <coughs> data. Uh, we include nine patients and uh, so far we uh, included uh, uh, 25 patients. Most of the patients or the tumors were GIST, and uh, the envelope resection rate were 96%. Uh, so what kind of GIST uh, or SMT are suitable for this kind of uh, procedure? Uh, first, we think that GIST or SMT that uh, have indications for endoscopy resection. And uh, flat uh, SMT or tumors originate from the uh, deep muscular nerve peripheral. Gist uh, that were obviously convex to intracavitivity is not suitable because it's difficult to separate the mucosa uh, layer from the tumor. Uh, so uh, there are some uh, tips during this uh, procedure. First, uh, we must uh, prevent the retraction of the uh, mucosa layer. So when separating the mucosa and the tumor, so we have to try to keep the submucosa tissue, uh, keep more submucosa tissue with the retained mucosa, uh, like this. Uh, we uh, dissect as much uh, uh, submucosa layer as, as more possible. And uh, <clears throat> So this is uh, after we dissect the uh, submucosa layer, we can set the submucosa layer was uh, not retracted so much. And also we can uh, dissect from the lower part of the tumor using the gravity to prevent retraction of the uh, uh, mucosa layer. So this is dissect in retroflex uh, view from the uh, anal side. So, because of the uh, you, because the, uh, of the gravity, uh, so after dissect the mucosa layer, the uh, mucosa layer does not record so far from the uh, incision area. So, uh, how to close the wound uh, with cleaves? So we have to make full suction and reduce the gastric air. So to make the retained mucosa close to the wound. 
and they use the teeth with the transparent hood to unfold the uh, retracted mucosa, and then clamp the retracted mucosa with a clip, pull it close to the wound, and then close the wound with and uh, clips. And also, we can use uh, the this this kind of thing. We when we do uh, a uh, we we can use we can do some small incision around the uh, defect. Then use the uh, hook of the teeth to put into the uh, incision area and then uh, absorb the air to close the mucosa. Something like this. Uh, here is the uh, like this uh, method. So after the uh, <clears throat> tumor was removed, then we do some small incisions uh, along the uh, in, 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 uh, dissected mucosa and the, uh, the, the other side. Then you use clip to put into the incision area and then uh, uh, close the clip. So by this, uh, using this uh, technique, we can, we can uh, close the uh, mucosa layer uh, completely. So how to reduce the uh, operating time? Uh, so first, we have to spread the mucosa over the tumor and uh, totally expose the tumor to get a good operating field. Uh, Hyperknife is uh, useful, which can uh, quickly injection and dissection at the same time without changing the device. And also use small incisions with, which will contribute to the uh, first closure of the wound. So uh, in summary, I would think that uh, anesthesia resection can be considered for small gastroenterologist in selective cases, and the integrity of mucosa is re recommended. And uh, EM EMSLD can uh, contribute to, to R0 resection and uh, facilitate cl uh, closure. Uh, thanks. Thank you very much.